believe it or not, spring is right around the corner. We just got a bunch of snow here recently. Uh, within the past couple of days, it's been snowy, cold, gross. Which kind of sucks, because I'm getting ready for spring. Duck season's over, goose season's over. Spring snows is still going on, but I'm probably not gonna go on another hunt. And it's time, it is time for spring to be here. We've got the boat. I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this on video or not. I know I posted it on Instagram. Um, I picked up one of these for the boat this year. This is a uh, Hummingbird Helix 7 with side imaging. So super pumped about that, going to do some crappie fishing. But today, I need to uh, get some stuff done. I want to kind of make a vlog with you guys. And why is this being all trippy? Wow, does this camera not like the cold? That's gonna be a problem. Okay, well I guess we'll figure that one out later. Yeah, so today we got a few things to do. I uh, gotta run some errands. I got a thing to unbox here today and uh, get ready for uh, spring, so stay tuned. Well, I did just figure out the uh, the reason why it was all kind of wonky. I had the frame right down to like 20 frames per second. That's the reason why this camera, it's a new camera. I got the Canon 90D. I've been using the 80D for, uh, I don't know, I I've gone through three of the bodies, I think. So finally, up to an upgrade. Uh, what forced my hand with getting a new camera was when I was kind of going towards the end of the season and when I was editing, I noticed a lot of like crackling and popping, like really loud, annoying noises coming from the microphone. So I bought a new microphone and it turns out it wasn't the microphone at all, it was the camera, the little port on the side where the jack goes in, that was all busted. So I had to buy a new camera. It's the same thing that broke on my last ADD too, so I've had that happen twice on me. But I like this new camera, it's filming in 4K, which is awesome. and. Uh, I don't know, let me know what you guys think of this new camera. It's like got 32 megapixels as opposed to like 24 in my last one, so. That's cool. We got snow today. Oh, get out of here. Uh, I'm ready for this winter stuff to be done. All right, today what I've got going on is really nothing much. It's kind of a little boring day. I'm not working today. It's Friday, uh, and so I've got two boxes to unbox and I can't think of anything else. Oh, one more thing. Look out, jeez, oh Pete, I just hit my head. Today's video is brought to you by uh, Canadips. If you guys like uh, using nicotine pouches or you dip and you want a different alternative that's maybe a little healthier for you, no nicotine, that kind of stuff, check out Canadips. It's a CBD infused um, tobacco free little pouch that looks like that you just toss her in there you get to uh, enjoy it for a little while the flavor lasts a long time they got all kinds of flavors they got wintergreen mint um, citrus it, just go check out their website and check it out so if you guys are interested in uh, picking up some candidates there will be a link in the description with a coupon code so go ahead and pick one of these up maybe you know somebody who might want to quit chewing or uh, might think that CBD pouches are awesome because they've got health benefits and such. So check it out down below. But I think we're finally thawed out enough I can see. So we're gonna hit the road and head down to the old Wally world and hopefully find what we need. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. And this right here is the perfect way to start a morning. Casey's breakfast pizza. I'm a little disappointed with the uh, Casey's here in this town. You walk in and then I'm surprised they had pizza this morning, but they never have anything. All the drinks are sold out. Normally there's no like hot slices of pizza. And then you're sitting there standing in line behind two people waiting 15 minutes. It's a, uh, it's pretty rough. They need some, they, they need some people to come and work for them, but we do have a quick trip, which uh, should have gone to this morning. All right, we're ready to rock, Doc. Let's get this day started. All right. I had to uh, head over to Walmart and pick up some stuff for uh, today. First up, this was kind of an impulse buy and it reminded me I needed this, but a uh, new anchor rope for the boat. Um, definitely needed that. And then, got some of these bad boys. I'm gonna try out and doing some crappie fishing here this spring and that's kind of what this video is more geared towards is kind of gearing up towards spring crappie fishing, but uh, got some little uh, minnow rigs. So 
we're gonna try trolling for some crappies here pretty soon. I, I gotta figure out where to buy minnows, but um, definitely wanting to troll for some crappies before they start hitting the rocks on the spawn. And then got some fishing line. So uh, here's some eight pound high vis and then some 10 pound mono. We've got a box there, but before we do that box, we gotta do this other one that I got over here. All right, I'm kind of excited about this. We are going to go ahead and just pop this baby open and inside this tube are my new crappie fishing poles. I'm excited about these. These are from uh, ACC Crappie Sticks. Um, I saw them online, it's like, hey, those look pretty good. I reached out to them and they hooked me up with some rods to be using these videos and uh, show you guys. So, careful with that. We've got all different kinds. There's uh, four of them here. We've got the GS11M. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this baby open. It's an 11 foot rod. So we got, we got the long boys here today. So here's what this bad boy looks like. Here's half of it. They're two piece, so this is an 11 foot rod. They're gonna take up a lot of space in the boat here. They're really long, which is gonna be great for when we're out on the lake doing some vertical jigging or trolling and whatnot. Um, we'll be able to uh, just roll up on some trees and have that 11 foot reach with this one. There's, uh, there's a 10 foot one, there's a 12 foot one, and another 10 foot one. So we got two 10s, an 11, and a 12 foot rod to use when we're out there. So we're gonna be dipping trees this summer. We're gonna be trolling. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm super stoked about these. They feel really nice. They got a good hand feel to them. Got cork handles on that one. Showing you guys crappie rods has got to be probably one of the most difficult things to do on camera. Because I mean, you only get so much width. And if I put these things together to show you the whole like length of the rod, I, I don't even know how I would do that. Here we go. This is the 12 foot rod. So I've never really played around with any rods longer than like, seven feet, seven and a half feet maybe. So, <clears throat> this is gonna be a big game changer. They got a real nice handle on these. I like that a lot actually. The handle's more towards the back on this one. These are really geared towards jigging and trolling, which I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of, at least hopefully, this spring and summer. So stay tuned because crappie fishing season's coming. We got some new electronics, we got some new rods, we got the boat, which I never really used last year, which is kind of a bummer, but um, it was busy. Just never got to go fishing a whole lot. We'll, we're gonna get these things all geared up and ready to go, and that brings us to our next box. I'm kind of glad that uh, I didn't put the old buddy heater away for the spring and summer. It's been on my workbench since the season ended. I had to break it out today, it's cold. Like, my hands are actually cold, so. We got one more box here, and this box is from my favorite place on earth, Rogers Sporting Goods. So let's crack this baby open and see what I purchased. Why don't you guys go ahead and leave me a comment down below if uh, you guys are planning to do some crappie fishing this spring, and if you're ge getting geared up, what are you buying? What do you need to get for this year? I've got some other stuff coming one of these days that I'm excited about, and I'll show you guys when we get that. But fishing season's around the corner, turkey season's around the corner, so drop a comment if you guys are gonna be doing any kind of crappie fishing, and drop a like if you're planning on turkey hunting. So, here is our box from the most wonderful place on earth, Roger Sporting Goods, and it's got quite a bit in it. So, I had to get some reels for these rods, so I went to the one place I buy all my gear from, and got it from Roger Sport again. So we've got Lou's laser light spin speed, or laser, wow, <laughs> laser light spin, speed spin. Wow, that's a tongue twister. I got three of those. Uh, those are kind of smaller reels. They are the LLS 100s. I'm, I don't really know a whole lot of technicality stuff with fishing reels and stuff like there's 2000 series and whatnot. So. That's a 100, uh, and then I got a Shimano Sienna C3000. So this is gonna go on that 12 foot rod, just a little bit of a bigger reel there. And, can't forget about this. I was like, you know what, I need some rod holders for the boat. 
and I want to do some trolling, like I said. And so I looked at some spider rig setups and I couldn't find any that were in stock or that would really work well with the setup on my boat. So I'm going to go with one of these bad boys. Got to figure out how this works here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Here we go. We got some rod holders and uh, they're adjustable so you can adjust the, uh, let's see here. You can adjust the angle that your rod will be sitting in that rod holder and they got clamps. So that's kind of the big selling factor for me on these kind was some clamps. So I can clamp them along the edge of the boat wherever I want to uh, put some rods. I don't have T-tracks along the edges like some boats do. So I had to find an option that would work with the setup that I have. So having to go with this. So I got six of those. <laughs> they were like $2 a piece. So I guess today's project is to get all of these reels spooled up with some line um, and uh, get all these crappie rods ready to rock and roll for crappie season coming up. It's an eventful day over here. That's how we roll. Ooh, that feels nice. And there we go. We are ready for the warm up that's gonna happen next week. I think after next week, spring will be here and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited about going crappie fishing. I've got the two 10 foots, the 11 foot and the 12 foot rod here. I just put all the tips on them, made them all one piece and then tried them all out. And they're balanced really good. It's got good sensitivity. It feels like got good fast tip. So I'm really excited to get these out on the water and try them out. I would take them today, but it's cold and snowy and gross out. So I want to actually try and catch a fish. I don't want to just go out there and put a line in the water. So if, if you guys are new to the channel, meaning like within the past couple of years, I don't think most people know that this channel actually started as a fishing channel back in 2014. And, uh, I kind of switched to duck hunting in 2015, 2016, once that kind of started taking off. And, you know, circumstances were I had more good or better hunting opportunities than I did fishing opportunities. So that's kind of what happened. So I do want to bring back fishing on the channel. I don't know if it's going to get any views or if anybody's going to watch it, but I want to do it. I enjoy fishing. I want to learn how to catch crappie better and just kind of use this new equipment like that Helix 7 with side imaging these new rods, the boat, of course. So um, it's going to be a lot of new fun stuff this year. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping to get out and fish maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. It just kind of depends. We'll have to see. But um, all in all, everything's looking good. The boat's pretty much just ready to hook up and go at this point. So I'm looking forward to that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next video.